I think I just figured out how the Apple Watch is made. Hello, Willow Davis. How's it going? Hey, I have returned. I'm back. I've, I've been a little on and off the past couple of days, week or so. But hey, I, you know what? I'm ready to ready to come at you with a ton of videos. Yesterday, Jamie and I were going to see a concert in the city. We did the whole meet and greet before and everything. Boy, was that tiring. Uh, motionless and white and Beartooth, by the way, if you, if you were wondering. And I knew the video I had to make today was going to have to be Eric Card Garecook in Cyrodiil living his majorly life. Bye. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Thanks so much to everyone who reached out requesting this series continue. Uh, I knew I I wanted to keep it going, and it it, uh, it makes it that much better to see so many people enjoying it. So thank you for that. Classic. This is a classic Oblivion right here. Look at that. Um, in general, you know, any any video you see on my channel, I, I made that video because that's what I wanted to make. You know, I don't, I never make a video that I didn't want to make, and I hear other creators say it all the time, and I found it to be true, that you, you have to do what you want to do, otherwise it becomes a chore real quick and not fun anymore, so... Yeah, I, I never make a video that I didn't want to make. At the very most, if, if I have a few ideas for videos I'd like to do, sometimes I'll side with the one that I think, you know, more people would be into, might, like, get some more some more views and, and be better received. But but in general, it, it's any video is there because that's what I want to do. And today, definitely wanted to make this video. <laughs> Greetings to you. Okay, so at the end of the last video, I asked, uh, do you guys think... Would Ericard Garecook investigate the Vampire Hunter or Gnaw? And I found that most people said, Sure, why not? I think he would at least, at the very least, be interested to see what's going on. We'll see how involved he decides to get in it, you know? So, I think we'll go on with that. The last thing I did was the Bruma Mages Guild recommendation and brought... Martin Septim up to Cloud Ruler Temple over uh, like there. So, you know, I think Ericard deserves a little break to do a little side quest if he wants. I've discovered that Braden Lyrian, a resident here in Bruma, was actually a vampire. He was slain by a vampire hunter who has appeared in town named Raynal Dralis. However, the circumstances of this incident sound sketchy at best. I should make my way to the crime scene at Braden's house to investigate. So this was just based on rumors that I heard. I think first heard it from a guard talking about it. Just thought it was weird. All right, we have arrived here at Braden Lyrian's house, who is apparently a vampire who has been slain. Okay. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Raynal Dralis, will be allowed access. Why? So Raynal gets special access because he's the vampire hunter. So let's talk about Raynal. A culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. Right. Carius Runelius. But frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Right. Well, we'll see if we can convince him. Let me get, hear some rumors first, see if he's willing to give that. Hey. You're the one they call the Hero of Kavach, aren't you? <laughs> the one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city. So you do know who I am. Is that enough to get you to talk? A culprit in this crime. Okay, I no. That apparently not. Apparently being the Hero of Kavach and recognizable by just my face is not enough for you to trust me. <laughs> so we're going to have to do some persuading. I have done this before in this series, but uh, I kind of skipped over it. Yes. There's this persuasion mini game thing here. Uh, oh god, I don't really want to move my camera out of the way because this thing's very weird and it like freeze up. So let me just move myself out of the way. There's four different options here. You know, tell tell a joke, coerce, boast, admire. You can bribe. I could just give him a bunch of gold and he'd give me the information. Uh, but I'm going to do the mini game. 
and it's kind of stupid, especially if you don't have a high speechcraft skill, because it's just like doesn't really like it's just not easy. But I'll fast forward through it, and he's just gonna say a bunch of random nonsense. He likes the adm admiration. He 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 loves the admiration, likes the boast, doesn't like coerce, hates jokes. But I have to do all of them. That's how it works. And the longer I take, the more it goes down, as you see, 46, 45. So I have to hit all of these, and they'll spin around as it goes. I know this makes no sense, but you, you just watch, and then maybe you'll figure it out. Maybe you won't. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Well done. Okay, that's the best we could do. Hopefully soon, if I keep doing this, I'll um, get up to like whatever it is, journeyman or apprentice, whatever I need, and then it gets a lot easier because you can like manipulate it a little bit. But okay, so that should be enough. I see. I suppose there's no harm in telling you what happened. Word is bound to get around Bruma anyway. Turns out that Braden Lyrian is a vampire, or was. If it wasn't for Rainiel Dralis, we may never have uncovered the truth. Let me explain. In the last week or so, we've found two bodies stashed in shallow graves outside the city walls. The bodies had puncture wounds on their necks. The bodies were those of some beggars who used to wander the streets looking for handouts. Vampire probably thought no one would miss them. Luckily for us, Raynal arrived in town. He said he was a vampire hunter, so we asked for his help. He tracked the vampire to this house. When he entered the place around noon, Braden was sleeping. He was able to slay him at that point. Luckily, Braden's wife wasn't home. Poor thing. She didn't even know her husband was infected. We did a follow-up investigation, and it's true that no one recollects seeing Braden out in the daylight. He's only been spotted at night. I'm afraid there's not much more to tell you. So, Bruh. you can see we really don't need any help, but thanks for the offer. This is not a great investigation, dude. I'm impressed. It only took him a day to track the vampire down. I guess that's why he does it for a living. Okay, we'll see about this. Tell me about Braden Lyrian. As far as I know, he was a good man. I, I never saw this coming. So how but vampires are masters of deception, so I guess it makes sense. Oh my god, really, dude? That's how we're... Feel free to question anyone in town. They shouldn't give you too much trouble. Okay, um, let me talk to the wife here, see what's going on. Perhaps you can help me. Yes. I can't believe this is happening. Please, please, I need your help. My husband was no vampire. It's ridiculous. No one will listen to me. Please calm down. I want to help. Forgive me. I loved my husband dearly. And to lose him this way makes no sense. Anything you can do to help would be wonderful. This is all happening so fast. Tell me what happened. I came home only just a few hours ago. I found the door open and my Braden dead. Standing over him was a Dunmer. A Dunmer. I screamed and ran out into the street. Some city watch were nearby and heard me, I suppose, as they arrived quickly. I heard the Dunmer identify himself as Rainil Dralus. He said he was a vampire hunter, and that Braden was his mark. The guards seemed to know about Rainhill, and after a search of the house, the body of some beggar was found stashed in our basement. The guards sent for Carius, who is an investigator for crimes here in Bruma. In minutes, Rainhill convinced Carius that Braden was a vampire. The evidence looks bad for Braden. Well, of course it does. It was obviously planted here. Why would he stash a body in his own house? That's ridiculous. True. And another thing. The guards are making a big deal out of no one seeing Braden out in the daylight. Well, of course that's the case. He works at night and has to sleep during the day. Why does that make him a vampire? True. It's all that Raynal character. I don't trust him. The thing that bothers me the most is that I swear I've seen him before. Of course, he says he's never been here. Look, there isn't much more to say. Please, help me clear my husband's name. You got it. I have no idea where he'd be. 
Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Okay, we have to find Reynold Drills. I know I sound desperate, but I know I'm right. Okay. So, repeated tampering with Braden's corpse is a crime, and will alert the authorities. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with that. I. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I'm. Bro, I'm here. You told me to Excuse question me. people in town. Bruma Investigator Guard. That's your name, dude. Sorry, I have a lot of work to do. You got the face. Of an Altmer, my dude. You got some elf blood in you, huh? 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 Let me check out this corpse in the basement. See if uh, there's any evidence on this beggar's corpse in the basement. Yep, that's a pretty jacked beggar, by the way. But okay, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here. Some some blood. A, a magnificent pose. I'll move him around. Oh, I shouldn't touch the. I you didn't see anything. I didn't. I didn't touch the body. Let's see. Let's see. Thief of virtue. Okay, I'm not gonna steal from the uh, the dead man's house while his wife is here. Obviously. Excuse me. Hello. All right. Okay. So I will go find oh, Raynal Dralis. Let me through. Part the way, please. Okay, and everyone knows, in any game, where do you go to get rumors? The inn, or the bar, or something like that. Uh, I think it's down here. Howdy. Here we have... Olaf's Tap and Tack. <laughs> Great place to spread some rumors, am I right? Oh, someone was leaving at the same time. Oh. We good here? We're just we're just standing around or what's up? Hola. Hola. What can I do for you today? Uh tell me about Reynold Dralis. I usually don't give out that kind of information, especially to people I don't know. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little more convincing. <laughs> here. Okay. Well, we'll see. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, that that was not very good at all, I see. but I usually don't give up. Okay, so not good enough for him. Go I'm gonna ahead. have to bribe him 22 gold pieces. See, was that hard? Yeah, yeah, you know what it really was. I usually don't give up. Uh, oh god, okay. Good. I don't know what to do here then. Do I have any. Charm, 12 points, 30 seconds on touch. Journey to you. Let's Greetings, fellow gonna hit Britain. you with a spell. What can I do you for you today? You don't mind if I hit you with a spell, do you? Raynil's staying in the last room down the hall upstairs. Here's the key. Oh. <laughs> I always liked Brayden and Arlene. They were a nice couple. I hope you get to the bottom of this, because I don't believe he was a vampire either. Oh my god, he was very quick to uh, give me the key to Reynolds' room. Good evening. H hello. Oh my god, he's look at he's he's really glowing after that spell I hit him with. Okay, I'm gonna be sneaky, hello there. sneaky. Poor Honora. Seems her boyfriend Jorunder has stolen okay. some gold. I am here in his penis. room. There's now a book behind the thing. I've discovered a small journal in Reynolds' room at the inn. It seems he was part of a group of adventurers who uncovered an artifact of some sort from his, some alien ruins. They all agreed that to stash the artifact in a cave until more research could be done about it. Each of them took a key to the chest it was secured in. The two other members of the group were Braden and someone named Geliborn. Geliborn? Geliborn? I need to find out more about Geliborn. To confirm my suspicions about Raynil, Olav may be able to help. Okay, I'm not gonna read the journal because they gave me a whole summary of it in that little quest point. <sighs> Bye. Can I take it? I'm gonna take it. I probably shouldn't have taken it. He's gonna realize it's missing, but you know what? After a round oh, we're two, talking about. He him. told me he was an honest to goodness vampire hunter. <coughs> Good night. <laughs> Take care. Okay, Olaf didn't want to hear about it, clearly. 
Ongar, <laughs> the world weary, oh, they call me. That's on guard. I've been everywhere and done everything. Now I'm settled down for a good long rest. Okay, I need Olav though. Tell me about Jorunder? Arnora and Jorunder were once a happy couple, but that's over now. I hear that he took all of their money and stashed it after he committed a robbery. He was gonna skip town on Arnora, but got arrested before making good on his escape. Now she has no money left at all, poor thing. Oh my god, that's a that's a new quest right there. Not get into that right now. Goodbye. Olaf? Oh here he is. What can I do for you today? <laughs> same voice, same same face. Um Okay, okay, okay. Uh tell me about Gelaborn. Gelaborn? That's odd that you should mention that name. Raynal told me that he was the last vampire he hunted. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Somewhere in Skingrad, I believe. He said he tracked Gelborn down and killed him. That's apparently why the guards trust him so readily. They had gotten word from Skingrad City Watch about Raynil and his so-called accomplishment. Okay, so what it seems like is Raynal Dralis was a part of this thing that like got some some treasure thing with a group of people and he's now going around and killing all of the other members of that group uh, claiming they are vampires that's what I my masterful investigation work has determined I know I may be out of line by saying this but I think the city guards may be wrong Ooh. it's hard to imagine Braden was a vampire I could have sworn I saw him outside in the daylight before Unless he just got that disease very recently, I'd say they were mistaken. Oh. When I heard Raynil killed him, I didn't know what to think. But after your visit here, I'm beginning to wonder. Okay. Just look for me if you need anything else. Thank you, Olaf. Very nice of you to offer. The innkeeper Olaf told me that Gelborn was slain in skin grab by none other than Raynil. As with Brayden, Raynal claimed Gelborn was a vampire. I think Raynal is using the vampire as a cover story to get the keys to the chest where they stash the artifact. I think it's time to speak with Carius Runelius about Raynal. He must be stopped. Okay, so we have to go talk to the guard that apparently ran the investigation about this newfound information. And I have a question for uh, any... Excuse me. For any viewers at home, um... If Ericard Garecook was suddenly confronted with the option of becoming a vampire, do you think he would take it? Uh, or do you think, like, like he wouldn't be interested? Do you think he's, he's too much of a good old boy? Uh, do you think he would uh, actually want the power? Or do you think he would uh, miss going out in the sunlight too much? Hello. I'll, I'll leave that open for discussion because I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, you're back. Carius, take a seat because I have some some things to say to you. So, any new revelations in your mm, investigation? The hell was that? Ah. Uh, Gelborn. How do you know about that? Oh. Too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. Very well. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynal not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. <laughs> I disagree. What do you mean, you disagree? <laughs> That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have Gelleborn's journal, actually. I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. Why else would Raynal have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skingrad? I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Raynal from Brayden's body before we arrived. Right. To think that two innocent men were killed. And that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speechless. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olev's Tap and Tack in one hour. My favorite little hole in the wall. My favorite dive. Olaf's <laughs> Tap and Tack. That is gangster. Why is it Tack? Does that, what does that mean? So Carius is apparently going to take care of everything else and I just have to go to Olaf's and meet him in an hour. 
Have you ever spoken to Juntus Brolus? Can't resist the conversation. Can't say I know him very well. I understand he'll train people to cast illusions for a price. <coughs> Take care. Greetings to you. D hello. <laughs> Don't mind me. I just want to listen in. Hi there. How does Olfund manage to be a smith, trainer, and babysitter? He's a saint. Sure. He spends a bit of time at the tap and tack, but you can't blame him. I cannot. Be seeing you. I could not blame him, let me tell you. My favorite joint. Here's my cheese wedge and bread where if I touch it, it'll be Hello. considered stealing. Do you know Jauntus Brolis, the spell sword? I wouldn't call him a friend. Still, if I wanted to learn more about illusions, he's the one I'd ask. Goodbye. I'll just How wait. How goes it? I've been better. How about you? I've been better. How about that? You hear about Jorunder? He was caught stealing gold, and now he's in jail. Nope. I bet our Nora's beside There's my guy. grief. Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard, he may panic and run. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Oh, God. If all you say is true, Rainil will answer for Braden's death. Right. I can't wait to get my hands on Rainil. He'll become very familiar with Bruma's dungeons, or the end of my blade if he doesn't come peacefully. You know what? Something tells me I'm going to be taking Please, care okay. of this myself. Rainil may make a break for I the take open it road at any moment. Well, what is it? Whatever I can do. Oh, everyone, stop talking. Stop. I have to go. I know. I, I know. All of my friends are hanging out at Olaf Tap Attack, and they want to chat with me. But uh, are you going into? Oh my! I thought he was about to go in there too. I was like, Gee, the whole town. The whole town's going to Olaf Tap and Tack. I. Greetings. Okay, so I just have to go venture out to this cave. It's you. Hi. I'm just gonna walk, I'm not gonna bother with the horse. Oh, 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 what is this? What is this? A bandit? Oh, whoa, take it easy, lady. Ooh, ooh, she got me good. <laughs> Alright. Take that, thank you. Go to hell. Oblivion take you? Oh good, of course on my way there there's a, a another Oblivion gate. Oh, and a wolf. Great. Oh, it's a dog. It's a mad dog. Must have been the bandit's dog. Taught it to kill on sight. The hell. Capstone Cave. Maybe another time. What's going on out here? What's this old place? Apple Watch. Got, got one of them fancy Apple Watches, huh? Here, here we are at the, the Apple Watch farmhouse. Dang, we bougie up in here, huh? Okay, I'm gonna have to check out that Oblivion gear. I'm not gonna go in, but... Okay, it is locked. Hello? Should I go in anyway? I think I think Eric Hard Garecook wants one of them Apple Watches. Let's let's see if we can sneak in and if no one will notice. I'm not a thief. I won't go stealing nothing. Just you know, just want to see if they have some Apple Watches in there. Hey, pretty good. Ooh, there's a dog in here. A person sleeping. Maybe I can talk to them and they won't be too upset that I broke into their house. I'm gonna try to talk to them. Hey. Hi. 
What? Imps. I hate them. Little buggers flitting around, tossing fireballs at you. Right. Good day. Okay. No one seems to mind that I broke in. That's interesting. I... That's it then. No Apple Watches to be found. Oh, we got a scamp! A skippity scamp. Uh, I, sh I shoot fireball at you. I shoot fireball at you. There we go. I'm not going in there. Oh, hey, this is the joint. Here we go. I've arrived at Boreal Stone Cave. Sneaking. I'm sneaking. My sneak isn't very good, but I'm sneaking. Okay, now I'm swimming. I'm swimming. Not really. Oh, God. That's him. That must be him. It's a dark elf. Oh, God, he's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. What do I do? Congratulations. I had a feeling you would catch on sooner or later. Leaving that journal behind was a stupid mistake on my part. That's a nice sword. I saw sword. you enter Olav's tap and tack before I could get there, and I knew that I had to sneak out of rumor somehow. It was only a matter of time before you or Carius figured it out. No matter. After I've killed you, I won't need my vampire hunter ruse any longer. Oh god. You will not surrender then? Reynold, please surrender. <laughs> please surrender, Reynold. <laughs> Certainly not. I'm surprised Carius didn't send the entire city watch up here. But then I would have seen that coming, I suppose. I expected to lay low for a while and then be on my way. So again, I underestimated you. This leaves me with little choice. Either I fight you now and have a chance at freedom, or I surrender and rot in a city dungeon. I prefer the chance for freedom. This is your last chance, Raynal. Please reconsider. <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. Well then, we've talked enough. Only one of us will walk out of here alive this day. Good luck. Thank you. Oh god, he's strong. He's so strong. How is he so strong? Oh god. Ooh. Come on! Come on! Die, curse! Oh, whoo! I've located Raynal in Boreal Stone Cave. He refused to surrender, choosing instead to attack me. I was forced to kill him to defend myself. I can now recover the artifact mentioned in Gelborn's journal from the chest. God, it better be something good for all this work. You got anything? That's uh, none of that stuff's better than what I have, right? All the leather. Oh, you know what? Oh my god, I never put on that freaking helmet I bought last time. What the hell is wrong with me? Oh. <laughs> that looks terrible. <laughs> oh boy, that is not a good look <laughs> at all. Too bad I couldn't have gotten a freaking helmet from this all this Kavach armor I'm wearing. Okay, where's your sword, my dude? Silver clay. Ugh, I don't want a claymore. I'm a one-handed sword type of dude. So this is this is the chest right here. This guy or no? Waterlogged chest. Opening the waterlogged chest with all three keys, I discovered the artifact to be an amulet. It seems fairly unremarkable. And I'm unsure of its function. I think I should bring it back to Erlene Lyrian and see what she wants me to do with it. Okay. All right. We're bringing. Oh, is that um? Oh, that's Braden Lyrian's wife, of course. Yeah. Okay. So I have to bring it back. To Braden Lyrian's wife. Who Braden Lyrian? If you Braden, if you don't recall, was the guy who was killed by Raynal. And he was not actually a vampire, even though Raynal said he was. Ooh, got some potions in here. Any, any other loot for me, or just a mundane amulet that I have to bring back? Arrow, gold, lockpick. All right. Back to Bruma. I'm gonna give Raynal a good old flip. Make sure he's actually dead. 
head under. All right, let's see what happens with this. See if she can make any use of this amulet. I was praying for your swift return. Here I am. What news do you bring? Uh, w w tell me about this amulet. You know anything about this? Long ago, I made a promise to Braden. I promised to never reveal to anyone what I'm about to reveal to you now. However, because you've avenged his unjust death, I feel that Braden would understand why I'm breaking that pact. Braden told me about this amulet when they first brought it home from whatever distant land it came from. He never really trusted anyone else in the group, and before he secured the treasure in that cave, he had a special enchantment placed upon it. The magic masks the true identity of the item. All it takes is a simple command word, and the amulet would be restored to its true state. Did the word die with Brayden? No. He always feared this day would come. He left me knowledge of that word in the event that he died, and I came into possession of the keys. If the other members of Brayden's group were still alive, and I on my deathbed, only then would I pass the knowledge on to them. If you'd give me that amulet, I would like to show you what you've recovered. Certainly, here it is. Thank you. I will now speak the word. Brother. Here is the amulet back. It's as beautiful as it was the day I remember seeing it long ago. I want you to keep it, as I have no use for this anymore. I'm certain that's what I want, and I'm certain that's what Braden would want. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I hope that the amulet helps keep you safe on whatever roads you may travel. Thank you, Erlene. You want to talk about Reynold Draylis? I'm glad he's dead. I know that's a horrible thing to say, but I think you understand. Right, absolutely. Absolutely, Erlene. Justice has been done. Thank you. Thank you, Erlene. I'm sorry about all this, but thank you for the amulet. I hope it's good. Is it a good amulet? Hopefully it's not this copper amulet. <laughs> Phylactery of lith lithiness. Like. Fortify speed five points on self. Let's give that a try. That sounds Okay, that sounds decent. Okay, here I am walking 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 uh, Not much well, Did I have another amulet on before this? Oh personality could have worn that would have come in handy if I would And that on Fortify feed speed five points on self. I, I Guess I'm a little speedy let me, you know what, let me, uh, let me try, uh, taking it off and on as I walk. Okay, on, off, on, oh, I had to turn there, on, off, on, on, it's a little, a little bit of pep in the step, eh, whatever, you know what, at least justice is done, Bruma can rest easy. Okay, so that is finally figured out. Don't forget, I still need Mage's Guild recommendations from Shaden Hall, Leowin, and Breville, I think. So there's plenty of that still to go. Also, I'm supposed to be meeting Boris in Imperial City uh, to work on getting the Amulet of Kings back. So I think maybe that could be a nice next step here. I haven't been to Imperial City yet, and I think it's about time I head into the shops there and, and get some better equipment. So, uh, maybe we'll make our way over down south while we're nearby to, uh, Imperial City on the next one. What do you think? And, uh, uh, don't forget, tell me what you think. Would Erkard Garecook ever want to be a vampire? Or nah? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. This is, what, the seventh one? Wow. Cruising right along. I think Erkard has, has, uh... Well deserved a uh, nice trip to Olaf's tap and tack for for a mead or maybe some cheap wine. Okay, see you next time. Willow Davis out. Sometimes you